welcome back to another Meep City video. And today will be the second part to making a decare. I feel like I've done more parts for some reason, but yeah, this is only the second part. And by the way, I had so much fun making that little fairy house. And thank you to everybody for your very lovely comments on that fairy house. Um, yeah, it was really, really fun doing that. But I wanted to continue with the daycare. Now on that one spring update video, I did say I was maybe gonna work on the playground and garden area, but I think I'm gonna continue downstairs and actually do the activity slash learning room today. So this room is going to be, you know, for all ages for learning. The older kids that come here after school might wanna do their homework in this room, or the younger kids that are not in school yet, maybe will do a little bit of learning in this room. So that's what we're gonna do in here. Now, before I do that though, I wanna add some of this new stuff in here. What is going on, Chloe? <laughs> Chloe's like, you know what? Actually what Chloe wants, and I don't know if I could buy that from here. I might have to switch houses is Chloe wants the new toy. So let me just quickly do that. So yeah, I wanted to add some of this newer stuff to the areas that I've already done. So let's give Chloe this little Meep toy now. And instead for now, this is just more for Chloe, not really, I don't know if I'm gonna still use this, but I might as well give her this new, um, the new Meep Tower for her to sleep in here. There you go, Chloe, I put a couple things down for you. Now, of course, of course, I wanna add the banana cat somewhere, but I don't know where. I can't decide if I wanna put it, say, in here, since it's technically a banana, and this is a bit of a fruit area, but then I feel like it should be in the play area for the kids to play with, so maybe I should put, see, the little banana cat right here for the kids kids to play with oh my goodness i still can't get over that the banana cat is just way too cute so i'll put the little banana cat there for now um let's see what other toys i thought this little wooden bunny stand would be cute in here as well maybe right here on the floor kind of oh, wait i could just add it over here as a toy so now we have definitely some more toys for the kids to play with the bunny plush might be a little too big for this area who knows maybe that's something i can add in the napping room uh, that might be cute to put in there and some of this like the bunny sofa might be cute in there as well um, but I did maybe want to switch instead of having this plant I thought maybe the turtle plant would be cute here yes it is it's very cute so we'll just switch that and yes it was requested that I put a coat rack in the front there and also it was requested I put lockers for the kids to put their stuff in too. I might do that, we'll see, but for today I'm not going to do that, but I did add the coat rack. I'm almost thinking something like this for the learning room. We might do that. And again, as with this, I can always change it later on if I don't like it. So where to begin? I'm gonna to go to shop because this always helps me sometimes with what's in the game. Is of course I'm going to be using a lot of stuff from the school section in this area. I thought the ruler desk would be really cute. These little round tables would be cute. A chalkboard maybe if, the, if they are doing like a little learning lesson. We want an art corner. We want a few of these tables around and I want a teacher's desk in here. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll have the teacher's desk back here with some bookshelves. Ooh, let's put some tulips in this. Oh, oh, the oh no, I was gonna say the tulips not go there, but it's a little big on the desk though. Maybe if I put the tulips right there just for a little color and a little decoration in here, that's cute. Maybe actually one closer to the bookshelves like this and one like this. So then there's room over here in the corner for the art corner. Now I'm gonna have to get a ton of those school chairs. So yeah, this is what I wanna do and I wanna add different colors. I'm thinking green, pink, blue, and purple. Again, I know I've done this color scheme before, guys. I can't help it. <laughs> but that just makes the chairs really colorful in here. So that's what I'll do. Oh, you know what I think would be cute in here is another one of these little turtle. I love these new little turtle plants. Super cute, so we'll do that. That's a cute little decoration in here. Maybe have the turtle like that. Yeah, there we go. And I'll add some more small chairs. A little egg lamp would look nice on the teacher's desk in here. 
I'm wondering where I should put the chalkboard. Oh, that's right. I forgot the chalkboard has the math on it. Oh my goodness. It's because I guess it's been a while since I did the school, but that is, I totally forgot about that because it's not really much room for the teacher to stand back there. I could move this out. Maybe let's just move this out, this desk out a little bit so the teacher has space to stand. Like, I feel like this is awkward for the teacher, if that makes any sense. You know what I mean? Like trying to stand here behind the desk, like it just seems a bit awkward. Um, ah, so I'm trying to think here if I maybe want to move. It looks really good there, though. That's the thing. Or if I want to hear. I don't know. Let's put it here for now. Oh, I know what we're missing in here is a window which can go on this wall. There, I made the little art corner there. We have a board here that the whoever's working in the room with the kids can do some math work or whatnot on the wall. Then you have the teacher's area. So this is actually coming together quite nicely. It's very colorful. I need to figure out what I want to put on this wall. We could do some of these newer shelves. I really, really love these new shelves. Lock for decoration on the wall, maybe back here by the art area. Yeah, that's cute. That would have been cute by the teacher's desk, though, right here, too. Let me see. Or right over here. Do these books not fit on these shelves? Do I have these shelves backwards? No. Oh, wait, there we go. Well, there we go. I had a little trouble. Ah, I'm having trouble getting these books on here. I don't know what's going on. There we go. I know what we need in here is a little trash bin. That would be cute right beside the teacher's desk. I'm trying to figure out what I want on the shelves, but let's actually add some of these books on the desk. I'm not going to add it in every spot, just maybe more some random spots here. I don't know. We'll do a green book. I'll put a book on the teacher's desk in here blue maybe you know what i just thought we can act like these little bottles are is paint colors we could pretend that this is paint like the paint supplies for the little art corner over here so i'm actually gonna add two of these and i might try to add an extra paint easel for a little extra decoration i added some of the trophies uh some of the you know meatball trophies and the two easter one from last year and one from this year and the valentine's one so i am all done with my learning area in my daycare and i really like how it all came together i used a lot of stuff from the school section but i also used some newer things like the tulips and the egg desk lamp and the little turtle plant which i think is perfect in the daycare it's a great spot for kids to come and learn if you've got homework to do we can also consider this a quiet area too so say if you want to read but you found it just a little too loud over in the play area you could come in here and read and it would be awesome so yeah I'm very happy with how this turned out I cannot wait to make another part I will be making the little kitchen area next down here I might as well finish the downstairs I did put this little table here because it was suggested that I put the circle table in the daycare and I do agree that it is perfect in here but I don't know I just switched this around but I might switch it back actually I think I like it better this way yeah and then that looks cute in the front entrance I also added of uh, the other bunny friend that we got from the egg hunt this year in here and yeah happy to have a few more toys and of course the little banana cat I love the banana cat and also thank you guys for all your suggestions and ideas and comments you guys are awesome I'm gonna end this video here I hope that you enjoyed and have yourself a great day bye